Yo, what's up? Today we're going to be doing an oil change on a 2002 Nissan March or a Nissan Micro. It's got the K12 1.2 litre engine and we're going to get this little bad boy up on the hoist. Have a look what's underneath and change the oil and filter. Alrighty. What have we got going on? Alright, so there on the right hand side is the oil bung, which we can drain the oil from. Look at the tiny little exhaust on this thing. Man, oh my god, look at it. She's not very big. <laughs> Oh, smashed, smashed. That's a nice big dent there. Ah, well. Sure it's not going to affect the power. And there she is. There's the oil filter sitting up in there. Rightio, let's make a start. Rightio, that was a 14 millimeter uh, spanner to get that um, little bung plate out and drain the oil. Now if you look up there, you can see the filter. You can get a pair of these up in here. And that will turn quite easily from underneath, which is pretty handy. Better than some. Oh, that's now loose. I'll do it by hand now. Right, we'll get up there. Take that off. By hand now. Oh. There she is. Give it a bit of a clean up now. Put the new filter on and seal her up. All right, today we're gonna to run some uh, Castrol Magnatech Stop Start 10W30 part synthetic. Plenty good enough for this little baby. We'll get that in there and uh, new oil filter, Z442 Ryko, which uh, will do the trick. Right, we'll just spin that on by hand. And then we're gonna give it a really good nut with our hands. Hand tight. Get a good strong last grip on it. If you don't think you got enough, you could probably put those pliers back on, just give it a little nip. You don't wanna to go too tight. Real firm hand tight is fine. Right, make sure we've done that oil bung up nice and tight. And then we can drop her down. Right, we need to take the oil cap off at the front right hand side of the motor. And you'll notice there's no room to put a funnel, so you've, got to, you've sort of got to hold the funnel in your hand. Um, I have pre-measured the oil in a jug, which is a good way to do it. And then we can get the right quantity straight into there. Then we'll check the dipstick, make sure we've got the right levels. Put the cap on, give the engine a start, let it idle, 
for a couple of minutes, then check the level again. And that's the job done. Thanks for watching.